In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature in Sports Code that allows you to code collaboratively from anywhere in the world. So this came out in version 12.22. And if you have a live capture that's been started, what the person on that live capture can do is they can go Sports Code, they can go File, they can go Live Streaming Session, and they can go Create Session. That's going to stream that um, live capture to their Huddle.com account. Now, a secondary computer doesn't have to be on the same network. They could be on any internet network from anywhere in the world. Can then go live streaming session, join session. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already got a capture started on my um, computer beside me. And on this computer, I'm going to go join session. Find the team that that capture is on. Go join session. Start that capture. And here is that caption now streaming into my um, computer here. Now what's really awesome about this particular feature is that if I code something on my, um, my initial caption, so let's do that here, let's go code one and then code two, you'll see that codes and those codes start to show up on my secondary computer. What I could then do is I could also then say, for example, if I'm on the secondary computer, go into label mode, select one of these rows, go tab, and start adding labels. Now those labels are going to show up on my initial capture computer as well. What I could also do is on my initial capture computer, if I wanted to, I could go to one of those instances and I could write a note. Here is a note. That will also show up now on my other computer. Other things I can do is I can change the row order. That's also going to be respected between the two computers. So if I change the row order here to put two at the bottom and now one at the bottom. What I can also do is I can change the, the row title. So row name. And I can also change the row color. So I can do this from uh, my capture computer, my secondary computer, and those um, those features that I change, so the name, the color, the order, the labels, the notes, the codes, that's going to be respected across all computers. So the way I can see this being used is possibly if you're in a college basketball context, maybe you don't travel with all of your managers or all of your graduate assistants. So you could start the capture and start capturing and coding at your location, stream that capture to your huddle.com account, and then your managers and GAs back home um, at your facility can then join that session and go on label mode and add additional things like play calls or shot information. Who did the, um, who took the shot? Where was the shot located? What shot type was it? Um, you could also, for example, start a capture through a focus camera. Um, and because that focus stream is going to your huddle.com account, you can then join that session from anywhere, not only within your own facility, so you could go sit by the floor and code um, just on your Wi-Fi network, but you could join that capture from, again, anywhere in the world. So there are kind of unlimited possibilities with what you can do with this particular feature. And if you have any questions about this particular feature, um, please let me know either in the comments or I'll leave my email in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching and have fun coding.